In this tutorial, we will teach you how to edit or create videos in Photoshop CS6 timeline. As you can see, there are already some videos in the timeline. To add a video, go to the panel on the left of the timeline, click on the video icon, and select the New Video Group option. After that, click on the plus sign at the end of that track and open the required video. Once it opens, make sure that it starts playing after the other videos. As this particular video is longer than the other ones, we will squeeze the timeline. Drag the video across the timeline and place it at the end. If you notice there are these white triangles on every video, this shows that we have applied transition effects on every video. To do that on our new video, click on the transition box and apply the fade option to the new video. To enter settings of fade, right click on it. The fade duration is set at one second, which is fine for us. Let's go ahead and see how the video looks like. While watching the video, if you think the video needs some correction, just pause the video by pressing the spacebar key and click on that particular video. For example, if you wish to alter the brightness, then go to the Adjustments panel and increase the brightness a bit. You can see how better the clouds look now. Not all of the videos will need correction. This rain video needs some correction, so pause the video and then increase the contrast so that our focus is on the water and not the background. You can add text in the videos too by adding a new group video, getting the text tool, and drawing out a text frame. Enter some text in it, add the transition effect to it as well, and decrease the video length of the text. Now, if you right click on any of the videos, you will have access to what the duration of the video is, and at what speed it should play. If you click on the music symbol, you will have access to the audio settings of the video. Once the editing of the video is complete, we will go to the File menu and then drop down to Export and click on Render. This will pop up a Render Video box which uses Adobe Media Encoder to encode your videos. They have various options for you to choose from, and once you are done with that, click Render and Photoshop will render it for you.